Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking the Idiot Proof Reef Tank through the nitrogen cycle. All right, welcome to Parker's Reefs. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out any uh, future videos. We're gonna talk a lot of things about reefing in general, but also some photography and some events. But uh, yeah, consider it uh, your reef HQ. That's probably enough uh, inverted quotation marks for uh, one video. So let's get on to what uh, this topic's all about. And that's the nitrogen cycle and how we're gonna introduce that to the idiot proof reef tank as easily as possible. Now. I thought long and hard about this topic because it's just one of those things that just does not translate to be idiot proof all that easily at all. The, the cycle is something that's really complicated. Well, I say it's really complicated, really complicated for beginners into the hobby, yet it's still super, super important. And why it would be, whilst it would be easy for me to say, get a bit of uh, fish food, put it in your tank and leave it there for six months. After that, do a big water change and you're good to go it's gonna be pretty detrimental to getting people into the hobby. They're just not gonna be that interested in it. Now, on the flip side of that, I also don't wanna say uh, tip a bottle of uh, unicorn wee into your tank and you're right to put fish and coral in there straight away. Happy days, because whilst some products will claim that, I, I personally just don't see it myself yet. And I think there's lots to be said about the uh, natural cycle, but maybe we can take the best of both worlds and um, help introduce some bacteria whilst also giving the tank time to establish before we go introducing too many things. And at that point, I'd like to introduce to you the um, product that I've chosen. And uh, for this part of the video, I've chosen the uh, Aquarium Systems Start Your Tank Cycle Kit. Now, there's a few reasons for this. Firstly, um, it, it's, this kit is made for 75 litre tanks, which is just perfect for our uh, Waterbox 20 gallon cube. It comes with 15 vials of bacteria and ammonia and all the things that are required to help stimulate and enhance that cycle. And it's all been developed with assistance by Dr. Tim, which is the, basically the benchmark name when you're talking, uh, particularly in marine, marine bacteria for um, tanks. Dr. Tim is always the name that comes up in any of these discussions. So Dr. Tim's had his hands on this. Um, the kit is perfectly sized for our tank. And the thing I probably like most about it is that it's a 30 day program. We're not talking about dosing some uh, bacteria into your tank and you're good to go straight away. Whilst the kit does say you can add fish and coral on day two, I'm recommending against that. I recommend we follow the full cycle out for 30 days. And I just wanna take you through how it's gone so far with the uh, Idiot Proof Reef Tank. Okay, here we are, day one, exciting times. Now, if you've been watching this series, you'll know that I have had this tank wet for uh, a good three, four weeks prior to starting this. I haven't had anything into the tank at all at that stage. Um, I was just getting some of the silicate out of the uh, artificial rock and sand. Um, I trimmed a little bit of that algae off. You can see the tank's looking pretty clean there. And I figured that now's the time to start. So I did do a uh, water change before starting this program. So that water in there should be all nice and clear. And in fact, when I did my tests, it had zero ammonia, zero nitrite and zero nitrate. Now I've opened up the vials here. Well, I've opened up the pack and you can see there's a whole uh, swarm of vials and I've picked out the ones that are labeled as day one. Now, as a good lad and uh, following the instructions like I always do, I've separated out uh, the vials for day one, and uh, you can see the instructions say to give them a good shake. So you gotta give them a good shake, make sure you get everything um, all stirred up in those vials. Then you gotta tap the uh, tops them a little bit just to make sure that uh, none of the uh, liquids are staying in the, uh, in the little twistable bit that you take off. So you're getting essentially all of the uh, liquid into your tank. So you see I'm flicking the lids there now. Then you just twist those tops off, which I must admit, I didn't realize they twist. I was bending them back um, pretty much right up until the last uh, vial, but uh, that's okay. It will work as long as you basically get them open and um, you get those liquids into the tank. So I'm making a little bit of a fist of it here, but uh, it will open and we'll get uh, these liquids in the tank. And you can see each vial contains a few mil. In fact, this one is just gonna help squeeze it out and my arms are very conveniently in the way. Oh, there we go. You can see the uh, drops going in there. So there's nothing overly uh, dramatic or um, you're not gonna notice something really obvious in your tank. Some of the liquids are a bit clear. Some of them are a bit uh, sort of yellowy. Um, what you can't really see on uh, camera there is I'm just kind of giving that, uh, that vial, I just let it suck a bit of the tank water up and then swirled it around in the vial and squished it back out again. So that's one vial down, got another uh, three to go on day one. And I should also point out that you get this little convenient uh, reminder card, which tells you uh, which days, because whilst it's a 30 day program, you actually only dose uh, liquids on day one, 
day two, day three, day six, day eight, day 14, 15, and 21. So as you get a bit further into the program, you don't have to dose every day. Um, right, so I did mention that uh, at this point in time, my tank was zero nitrite, zero ammonia, zero nitrate. Um, I'm assuming as soon as I've added these vials, that will change. I'm assuming that one of these vials, if not a couple of them, were a... Uh, yeah, yeah, I got two to go. Um, were a uh, some sort of ammonium uh, mixture, and if that's that's because if you're not aware that the uh, traditionally the way the nitrogen cycle works is that you add some ammonia, either through um, a, a synthetic ammonia, whether you do it uh, the old school way, which was to add a fish which would start excreting ammonia through their waste. Or a little bit more of the modern approach was to add some food to your tank, which will uh, break down into um, and release ammonia into the tank. So essentially you need ammonia in there for um, the bacteria to uh, establish and grow and convert that ammonia into nitrite. Once nitrite's present, you get a different type of bacteria which converts the nitrite into nitrate. Now I've just finished off these vials, that's all for day one. We'll scoot on over to uh, day two next and we'll um, add some vials in there. All right, here we go, day two. So as I was touching on, once you've converted um, ammonia into nitrite and then you convert it into nitrate, then traditionally you're good to um, add fish because you don't wanna add things while there is either ammonia or nitrite in the water because both of those or either of those are toxic to um, uh, to any fish uh, in the system and probably not great for corals either, to be honest. Um, so this program here is adding some ammonias, adding some bacterias, um, and just continually keeping that, uh, pushing that cycle along. So you combine that with the fact that it is a 30 day program along with adding the essential items to cycle the tank. It, in my opinion, honestly does make it an idiot proof system. Um, it does give you the ability to, if you wanted to be truly idiot proof, you wouldn't even have to test the tank water. Um, I know that's probably going to ruffle a few people's feathers, but if you've got, um, if you followed the instructions perfectly, um, you've got the appropriate size tank, I would probably still recommend that you either tested water yourself um, at a couple of points in the cycle just to help build up those skills, or at worst, take a sample to your uh, local fish shop where they can test the water for you. But uh, if for some reason that was absolutely not gonna happen and you were gonna proceed without ever testing water, this system would actually be a possibility. I know, like I said, it's gonna ruffle feathers and um, so be it, but uh, that's, that's the way it is, that's, that's okay. So, all right, we're on to day uh, two here. We're just adding the vials in and um, you can see the tank hasn't really changed in appearance at all. Uh, we're still looking good. Now, interestingly, in the aquarium systems program, it does say you can add fish and corals from day two. Now, like I said, um, that's not really the way I think it should be. And on my tests, and granted they were on the most, I don't, I don't have to test um, ammonia or nitrite all that often because um, I don't start new tanks every day of the week. Um, so my test kits possibly aren't the most accurate, but on day two, there was still um, some ammonia and the starts of some nitrite um, in the system. So I wouldn't be recommending everyone be adding uh, corals and fish on day two, but um, maybe someone else can give that a try. I, I certainly wasn't willing to. I wanted to give this the full 30 days. Now we're on to uh, what day are we up to now? Day three. So um, as you can see at the start of the program, you're adding a little bit each day. We're down to one vial today though, which is um, pretty straightforward. Tank's still looking pretty much the same. You'll notice in each of these videos, the um, lights are not on in the tank yet. And that's because I've been doing these before I go to work each day. Um, <laughs> there's no real rhyme or reason to that. It doesn't say you have to add them first thing in the morning or end of the day. Now we get a couple of days off, we scoot over to day six. Um, you get to see the full collection of my wardrobe, which consists of about uh, three items of clothing, which are not aquarium related. And uh, we're gonna add in the vials from day six. Now, day six, we're still only on one vial. In fact, we're one vial all the way through now till uh, day 15 and day 21, which has got two vials on each. So I'm assuming these ones are just keeping uh, the bacteria topped up. I'm assuming in those first set of vials, we had, um, a big chunk of a couple of different strains of ammonia or something like that, or ammonia and some bacterias. And now we're just keeping the bacteria present, making sure that um, we we're, we're keep stimulating that cycle along. And you can see the tank has got a little bit of algae creeping in now. So yeah, it's day six done. We'll roll into day eight. Day eight's got one more vial. I'm doing this one handheld. So I hope no one at home gets uh, motion sickness. 
Um, you can see, uh, it looks like I've actually possibly already tipped this one in and I forgot to record it, so quickly grab the camera. And we'll um, scroll on to day 14. Thankfully, we had a little bit of time off here because um, uh, I actually had to step away and do some other aquarium related things. So um, I managed to time this cycle around when I was gonna be at the tank because I did wanna follow this absolutely to the T. Um, every single letter in the instructions I followed very closely with the exception of uh, breaking off those caps instead of twisting them. But um, hey, you gotta let me have a little bit of um, leeway there. You may be able to see in the tank there now, I have added a couple of snails and I did also interestingly add one piece of SPS just because um, I was curious to see whether the tank could actually keep a, whilst it's SPS, a hardy SPS alive. So um, we're looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna scroll on over now to day 15. We've just about finished this cycle. We've got two vials here and uh, you can see, yeah, we're down to the last couple here. Give them a good shake. And uh, yeah, we've done a full, whilst the aquarium's still cycling, we've done a full cycle of um, my clothing. Um, I'll get these lids off. You're gonna do two at once here. I'm obviously starting to get a little bit cocky. And uh, yeah, these, interestingly, these two, the, the liquids came out and looked the same, but the fact that they're in two separate vials tells me that they're uh, possibly not the same. I should also point out at this point in time that uh, these plastic vials are completely recyclable when you finish, so they go in your recycle bin. Again, keeping um, in the theme of uh, uh, sustainable and uh, not impacting the environment as much as we can with this idiot proof reef tank. Um, so that was a big tick there. And finally, we're up to the last step of our um, cycle here, which is day 21. We've got two vials here. Um, we're gonna put them in the tank. And then basically the only thing from there to do is to wait until day 30. Then you can do a, um, it says you only have to do a 30%, sorry, a 10% water change per week from there on. We might do a little bit more than that, but uh, we'll see how we go. You can actually see the reflection of my phone in the um, aquarium glass here, which is uh, <laughs> a little, little ironic. You can see we've got a little bit of um, algae popping up on the sand there, um, possibly still fueled by the silicate because um, I can say at this point in time, um, uh, ammonia and nitrite were absolutely zero. Nitrates had crept up to about five parts per million, um, but uh, I'll give the tank another week and we'll give it a um, water change and uh, we'll go from there. Here's just a quick little view of the tank post cycle and you can see our algae's all cleared up. Even the SPS Dallas pieces that I chucked in there are a, uh, just, uh, they're doing just fine, which is quite a surprise. See still a little bit of algae on the sand. I got a nice little trochus snail there, just keeping the glass um, occupied. There are a couple of baby turbos in there, but everything's basically ready to go looking for some fish. All right, so there we have it. The uh, Idiot Proof Reef Tank is now cycled, and I cannot tell you how I excited I am to have that tank cycled. It's been a fairly slow process compared to what I would normally do. And that's, um, well, not to point the finger at anyone, but uh, that's mostly because I've had to take my time and be a little bit, uh, a little bit more methodical with uh, each equipment and uh, product choice so that I can make sure that I can, I'm doing the right thing by you guys at home and make sure that I get a good video around it. And I'm also trying to fit it all in around things like this cycle and to make sure that I was around for the dates to make sure that I didn't miss any of the instructions and do a um, do something unfair by the uh, aquarium system cycle kit by missing the steps and then blaming the product. But um, I'm happy to say that it worked really well. Now, I know there'll be some skeptics out there that will say that in 30 days with uh, a bit of food source and um, maybe some bacteria or maybe not even some bacteria or even just using live rock or something like that, that they could have achieved the same cycle. And chances are you possibly could have. I totally recognize this was not a uh, scientifically valid study with a controlled aquarium with uh, one method and another method than this method, it was never meant to be. The idea was to come up with a um, process that was basically an each way bet. Um, I, I, like I said at the start, I don't wanna just add a magical solution to the tank and say it's cycled. And I also recognize with the Idiot Proof Reef tank, it's not really viable to say that we should give things a three month cycle because I know that that's just a really big hurdle um, for people getting into the hobby where they've got all the excitement and all the energy and motivation to get going with this tank. And they just have to sit there looking at sand, rock and water for uh, three months, it's really difficult. So for that reason, I feel that the aquarium systems uh, start your tank is a really good compromise in that it's still a 30 day program, still gives you time to learn the art of testing water samples and just developing that uh, absolutely necessary skill in patience, but it also does help by including um, the ammonia and the uh, bacteria solutions to 
help make sure that that cycle is a success. So it's a great little compromise. And to be honest, it's, um, it's a $30 Australian kit for the 75 litre version. It's not a lot of money. Um, for that kind of dollars, I feel like it's uh, cheap insurance to make sure you got a good cycle. And from my personal tests on this tank, it looks to have worked really well. Now, I'm not gonna say that I had that absolutely textbook perfect little uh, ammonia spike followed by the nitrite spike, followed by the ni uh, nitrite, followed by nitrate spike. Uh, Normally when I cycle tanks, I do see a little bit more of a chaos method where um, this tank, uh, the ammonia and nitrite started at the same time. And that could well be because um, I feel like on day one, there was ammonia and bacteria added straight away. So when 12 hours later, when I tested the tank, there was still ammonia present and the bacteria had already started converting into nitrite. But to be honest, this is the idiot proof reef tank. We don't need to worry about that. All we need to know was that there was ammonia, there was nitrite, now there's nitrate. We're gonna do a big water change, take that out, get rid of the nitrate, our tank is cycled, we're good to add fish. <laughs> now, if you guys wanna delve further into it, feel free. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comment section down below. But the thing I wanna do next is ask you guys, now our tank is cycled, I wanna add some fish to it. And whether people love them or hate them, there's no way we're having an idiot proof reef tank without a pair of clowns. And they're gonna be the first fish you wanna add. And uh, just coming back from Fragstock, Newcastle, in fact, I'll put some footage up on screen somewhere of the incredible aquacultured clownfish from uh, Matt and Jade at Coastal Clownfish had just this amazing assortment of clownfish and uh, they're two of the nicest people in the industry. They produce the highest quality clowns I've seen in person. Uh, and they've got these incredible range of uh, different designer brands. So I wanna put it back to you guys there. Check out the footage of the clowns there. You tell me which ones we should add in um, because this tank is a community tank. It's not really my tank. And uh, to be honest, I don't care if we pick basic Oceolaris clownfish or if you wanna go as extreme as black storms. Um, personally, if it was up to me, I'd probably be leaning towards the Wyoming whites just because I've never had uh, like platinum clownfish before. But hey, you tell me, pop the answers down in the comment section below. Also check out the uh, range at the Coastal Clownfish Facebook page. I'll be sure to put a uh, link in the uh, description down below. Have a look there, pick out, you tell me whatever um, clownfish varieties you think we should get. I'll tell you up the results and um, I'll get in touch with the guys at uh, Coastal Clownfish and we'll get a pair of those clowns in this tank and that'll be probably one of our next videos. I've still got a couple things I wanna cover with this tank. We're gonna go over maintenance yet because um, it's all good and well to cycle your tank and say it's ready for fish. But uh, if you're not prepared for maintenance, um, things are gonna go down here really quickly. So we might cover maintenance next whilst we're waiting for these uh, clownfish results to come in. But uh, that's probably enough rambling for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have any questions for myself, the Idiot Proof Reef Tank or the Aquarium System Start Your Tank program, uh, feel free to pop it in the comment section down below. Otherwise, guys, till next time, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.